Mexican riot police and striking teachers occupation of city square vertical line world news vertical line the guardian turn auto play off turn auto play on please activate cookies in order to turn auto play off jump to content test jump to site navigation zero jump to search for terms and conditions eight edition UK US so your activity email subscriptions account details link services Profile mobile. About us. About us. Australia team. Contact us. FAQs. Press office. Jobs. Terms of service. Privacy policy. Advertising guide. Guardian Weekly. Subscribe. How to subscribe. Guardian Weekly. Email services. Ethany. Android. GSC control CSE with. 25 rem exclamation point important padding zero float right input dot gsc search button background color number sign pddbd border color number sign pddbd input dot gsc search button colon hover background color number 999 border color number 999 news world sport comment culture business environment Science, travel, technology, life and style, data, TV, video, news, world news, Mexico, Mexican riot police and striking teachers occupation of city square, tear gas and water cannon used to disperse crowds but expected full scale confrontation does not materialize. Share, tweet this, female, Joe Tuckman in Mexico City, The Guardian. Saturday, September 14, 2013. Mexican Federal Police clash with protesting teachers during a violent eviction in Mexico City's ZA Superscript 3 Colo Plaza. Photograph, Yuri Cortez slash AFP slash Getty Images. Thousands of riot police retook Mexico City's central ZA Superscript 3 Colo Plaza and the surrounding area from striking teachers on Friday. There were violent clashes but not the full-scale confrontation that had appeared likely at first. Police moved into the area minutes after the elapse of a 4 p.m. deadline the government had set for the teachers to leave the square they had occupied four weeks in protest against an education reform. With helicopters circling low overhead, some police contingents fired tear gas as they advanced. Officers had to duck to avoid being hit by missiles thrown by protesters who had earlier prepared for the operation by arrows by building barricades and amassing makeshift weapons including metal rods planks and broken paving stones. But other lines of police faced little resistance as they entered the huge expanse of the square itself from a different side. They employed water cannon to put out bonfires made from rubbish and the remnants of the huge tent city where thousands of teachers had been based during the protests. Most had already left by the time the police arrived. Two hours after officers moved in, the police appeared to have near total control of the area. The government was determined to remove the teachers ahead of Mexican Independence Day celebrations on Sunday and Monday. These traditionally include the president ringing the bell and shouting Viva Mexico from a balcony in the National Palace that overlooks the square, alongside the cathedral, the country's most important Aztec ruins and the seat of the city government. The teachers' protests have been conflict-ridden from the start, involving regular marches and blockades that have caused near-continuous traffic chaos in the capital and which twice blocked access to the international airport for hours. Initially the protests were aimed at pressuring the legislature into modifying a wide-ranging education reform that threatens teachers with dismissal if they fail evaluations aimed at improving the dismal standard of the country's state schools. With the reform approved earlier this month, they began demanding that it be scrapped. They also demanded face-to-face -face negotiations with the nation's president, Enrique P. Plus Minus A. Nieto. Most of the striking teachers come from Mexico's poverty-ridden southern states, and argue that the country's educational deficiencies are more closely tied to social inequity than their performance in the classroom. They belong to the smaller of the country's two teachers' unions, IRO, the National Education Workers' Coordinating Committee. The larger union, much weakened after the arrest of its legendarily powerful leader L.B. Esther Gordolo in February, has supported the reforms. Having lost control of the ZA superscript 3 Kalo, the protesters began regrouping at the nearby monument to the revolution. Organizers said teachers were not responsible for the earlier violence, blaming radical support.